We decided to build a badminton robot to demonstrate technologies, new technologies we develop. The reason why we decided the badminton robot is that we thought that that would be a really convincing demonstrator. It's a real eye catcher. A badminton robot doesn't exist. It's the first one we built now, and every, everybody can play against the badminton robot. We work on a method that allows machine constructors to take into account energy consumption of the machines they are designing during the design cycle. So before the machine is there, they already want to think about how much energy will it consume and how can we make sure it is consuming as little energy as possible. And these kind of methods and tools to support the machine designer we developed in the Estimat project. From an initial analysis, we learned that the linear motor is consuming most of the energy. And as has been shown in the model-based analysis we conducted, the main energy that is being consumed is consumed by the wires in the electric motor, which are encapsulated in this block, and by the linear guides. These linear guides you can see here. And these linear guides make that this black block can move from left to right. So we can let the badminton robot start playing badminton and hit the shuttle using the time optimal controller. And we see that this way, the robot is moving quite aggressively. I now switch to the energy optimal controller. And we see it moves much more gently. You can build the model virtually, it doesn't cost that much, it only costs time, uh, of course, and you do not need to buy components uh, to try out something. So you can do that completely virtually, and you can also um, investigate, uh, let's say, strange conditions very fast or very hot in temperature or very cold and see what's the effect. If you want to do that in a real-life environment, you typically need very expensive testing and the risk of that is also very high if something goes wrong and therefore a virtual approach is the preferred one.
Een weefmachine, elke weefmachine heeft drie hoofdbewegingen. De haapvorming, de insertie van de inslag en de aanslag van de inslag tegen het weefsel. En dankzij het Estomat project hebben wij kunnen aantonen dat de lade aanslag de voornaamste veroorzaker is van de energieverliezen. En daarom heeft het Estomat project dan ook gefocust op die componenten. We stelden ook vast dat voornamelijk de snelheid van de nokvolgers belangrijk is. En als we dus een ontwerpwijziging doen waarbij de snelheid van die nokvolgers gereduceerd wordt, dan schatten we dat we tot een 10, 15 procent de verliezen kunnen verminderen. En de toepassing van de energy flow analysis um, niet alleen ons, maar iedereen in staat moet stellen om machines te ontwikkelen die reeds in de ontwikkeling geoptimaliseerd worden met betrekking tot energieverbruik. En het resultaat daarvan moet zijn een algemene uh, gegroeide bewustwording van het energieaspect tijdens het ontwerp van machines.